What's up everybody, it's Dakota from First Gear Media again, and today we are here with another Integra video. What we are doing today is we are going to be doing our own tire lettering for under $15, and that being said, we have the Type S tire marker. Now this was only 12 bucks at my uh, local AutoZone, yeah I know, but I have Nitto tires and I always do like the white tire lettering, and for 15 bucks, that's a good deal. And you know us, we're always shopping for good deals. So, that being said, what we're going to start off with is, I already washed the Integra, we're going to get some degreaser and some alcohol and go clean up the tires real quick. Everybody, now that we're here at the car, I have my degreaser and I have the alcohol we're going to use to clean and prep the surface. I'm also going to get a little bit of sandpaper and just scuff it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it that much, but I have, as you can see, Nitto tires. We're going to start with the Nitto, they're Neo Gen, so maybe, but I think just the Nitto because I think that'll look cool. I have them on all four. But um, yeah, we're going to clean this up real quick. And what I'm going to do is start with just wiping it with some degreaser, letting it dry, and then going over it with alcohol. And then I'm going to use just a little bit of sandpaper. I have like a thousand grit, so I'm just going to rub it real quick to get it nice and ready to go. And then I'm going to show you how to prime the uh, tool itself, or the tire marker itself, and then we're going to get back to work on this. All right, everybody. I don't know if you can see it again. Oh, yeah, you can. As you can see, it is all nice and cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, it stripped off all the tire shine I had on here, so um, like I said, degreaser, alcohol, you are good to go. So we're going to go prime the pin now and come back and do this. Okay, so we're back here with the marker, and as you can see, all you have to do is just get it primed, and by doing that, it has this little tip here, as you can see. I already primed it. What you do is you just simply get a little card like this and push down until the um, fluid starts to come out and then as you can see it'll make the nice line so now that we're primed up and ready to go let's go back to the car and make ourselves some tire letters hey guys so we're gonna start here with uh, this tire because it's top up so what I'm gonna do is just simply take off the cap and then start to fill in a little bit right here on the end uh, I'm gonna do that just really simply as you would color it in and then I'll come back to you with the results Okay everybody, so as you could tell, this is just one coat and it came out really good. I'm actually really surprised because it's going in there nice and well, like it's getting in all the little grooves and it's really easy to use surprisingly uh, compared to other paint markers I've used. So that's pretty good, but I will say um, you got to be careful when you're, like don't push down on it as you're doing it, you know, to prime it like we were doing because if you do that you will drip excess um, lettering liquid. <laughs> on the floor and you don't want to do that because if it gets on your other tire it'll leave a stain on Bobby obviously but uh, this honestly did take a little while um, just for that and it is one coat but I went ahead and filled in as much as I could but since this takes quite a while I'm gonna do the rest of the nitto here and then I'm gonna do the rest on that tire and show you how it comes out but I'm gonna move my car because it's a uh, little wooded over here so I'll get back to you okay everybody so took a little while but I got the first tire done and then I got the second tire done. It looks really good. As you can see where I'm at, a terrifying encounter. Had a spider crawl up me, and that was the most terrifying thing I've had in my life happen to me. But on the bright side, it does look really good. And this is just with one coat, by the way. So I'm going to do the other side and let this stuff dry. And then uh, maybe we'll do another coat, but I want to see how all four look together. Hey, what's up everybody? So we are back in the Integra because I was able to do the two tires on the left side and I was able to do one tire on the right side because I was only able to get to like an ITT and that's it. Um, you ran out, like I ran out, but I still have the other side to do so I had to go back and uh, buy another one from AutoZone. There's a two pack there. The, fortunately, the AutoZone I went to the first time, they were out of the two packs and I had to end up buying two separately, which kind of sucks because the two pack was like, uh, what is it, like $17, and now this one was another four, uh, 14 after tax, so I spent more than I really needed to, but I gotta get it done, so there's that. But um, on the one side over there, it came out really good, and then on this side, it started to come out too. Um, if you notice you're starting to run out though, go ahead and stop because I'm gonna have to go over that tire again because I noticed after you push kind of hard, at the end, the paint starts to really change color, you know, at the bottom of the barrel, which makes sense, but 
yeah, so I'm going to go over that one. So pretty much uh, something to take away from this is uh, get the two-pack if you can find it or buy two of them because it's pretty much uh, one pin per side of the car. So that being said, I'm going to go home, knock out to the other side, and then we're going to get this car on some actual like nice-looking areas and take another you know, little edit of the car. All right, everybody, so I just got done with the other side of the car. And I have to say the marker, the second time I bought it, I think it might have been a little like old or something because it didn't really work as well as the first one, but I mean it still did the job. So that being said, once again, if you want to do this, buy two, uh, the two pack for under $20, which is pretty good. I got to say, based on the results, I think I'd recommend it. So I'm going to shut up and show you the car now. now and this is where I'm gonna end the video um, if you buy the two-pack I highly recommend doing this it's cheap it lasts and it looks really good for you know a lot, a lot of money and I'm really happy with the results so thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already and then st stay tuned for more on this Integra and more car views coming up I just ordered some new equipment to make our car views a ton better so that's something to look forward to once again thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one